This is Jorge, and he is a truck mechanic, so he lifts heavy stuff all the time. He has neck pain, back pain, sleep issues. He has a whole myriad of things, but he cannot lift his arms anymore, so he can't even do his job. So check him out here. He can't lift his arms above his head. Pain on both sides. And we put some weights in his hand, and he can't lift those either. Oh my God, he is struggling. Take a look at his x-rays. You can see the reverse curve that's causing all his issues. Do you want to see a miracle today? Check it out. Here's his adjustment. Watch his story. Good. I'm Jorge and I'm 39 and I'm a trailer mechanic. Cause my arms hurt. I can't even lift up the weights for no What's reason, just two weeks. Two weeks, what, did, what happened two weeks ago? Any trauma? No trauma. Yeah. It just started. And you've never had this before, right? No. Can't even lift a hammer. Can't lift a hammer. And then what about carrying groceries? Can't even carry groceries because my hands, they hurt. And again, this guy works with heavy metal stuff. He works with heavy stuff all the time. And mm -hmm. so he's now down to not doing anything. Anything. They told me I had tendonitis and all they gave me was ibuprofen. Gotcha. And how has that helped, sir? It's just like the pain goes away when you're on the pills, but after that, yeah, your the strength doesn't come back, right? No. And the pain still stays there. The it just still feels the same, right? right. It just it dulls the pain a little bit, right? right? And he has some neck pain too, basic neck pain. Yeah. He also has anxiety, he has sleep problems. How long have you had your sleep issues? All my life. Heartburn, how long? About 10 years now. He has heartburn. some low back pain, but not a lot. And recently, tell us about how the leg pain is associated with the arm pain. When I squat, I feel it, I feel it down here. And did you feel that before the I arm started? I never felt that before yeah. until... Until these, the arm started about two weeks ago and then all of a sudden he notices that the legs are starting to happen yeah. too. Uh, when he was a kid, he had to wear a cervical collar because his parents said, he don't, we don't know what it is yet, but there was something with a whiplash. He had some kind of whiplash yeah. and he wore this collar and he remembers it because it was different. Yeah, a yeah. collar. And he dislocated his left shoulder when he was a kid. Good, how much pain in your back? Or tension in your back? About six. About six, go ahead and stand up. Okay, hands like this, please. Put your hands on the lower of your back and lean back as far as you can. How much pain in your lower back there? Six. How much pain there? Mm. None. Look at the ceiling. How about there? None. Take your right arm, put it above your shoulder. How much pain there, sir? Uh, this one's a six. Uh, eight. Uh, don't put your elbows. Don't put your elbows on your knees. Now stand up. Where's the pain? Your knees, your back. What? What's going on? And how much? Right here. And how much? About a six. So what do you feel right now with him at your side like this? A lot of strain on my left arm. On your left arm? Mm -hmm. Can you, is, could you, are you going to drop the weights? It's not that weak, right? But it hurts. No, I can gotcha. hold them. On a scale of 110, what is this right now? Like this? Yeah. I'm at six. Six. Now put your arm straight out in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> Just try. Keep trying. Keep trying. How much pain there, sir? Oh, eight. Eight? Ten. Ten. On ten. Gotcha. Put it down. Put it down. Now, do you lift weights? No. At the gym? No, before. Yeah, I did. Before? Could you lift eight pounds before? Oh, yeah. <laughs> sure. Even this, this is only like eight pounds. Eight you see pounds. his face? You see his face? He's struggling with this. Yeah. Okay. Now let's do this. Let's turn a little bit this way. Now go sideways. <laughs> Just do the best you can. We'll see. Can you go up at all? How much pain? Yeah, that's much. Up? That's it. That's gotcha. That's that's ten also, right? But you guys can see the struggle. You guys can see the struggle. So you guys are going to see a miracle. And you know, all we're going to do, guys, is go right through his curve. He has a little reverse curve in the middle of his neck, C3, C4, actually. Pretty straightforward. His atlas looks pretty darn good, actually. He has some growth in the back of his noggin up there. You guys will see the x-rays in just a second. I'll pop those up, but pretty straightforward. A little bit of curve in the middle of the back but nothing really, really out. He has a little TMJ here and a nine degree spinal curve. Here he has a four millimeter right short leg, some constipation. Here's the problem is low neck reversal and a large skull growth in the back of his head. And he has some sway back and constipation in this view also. Relax, sir. Good. Don't worry, I've done this for a long time. Yeah, this guy here. A thousand would be a lot worse. <laughs> See how you're trying to fidget right now? He's a big fidgeter. I've been telling him for hours not to fidget. Upsy daisy, Jorge. Now reminding him not to twist and turn or he will undo my work. You know, I said that to everybody. We're also going to teach him how to walk down the hall to recalibrate his spine. Keep your arms down at your side. Look straight ahead. But... First, let's listen in to see how he's doing after this first adjustment. My head feels lighter. Okay, like I said, recalibration comes from spreading that adjustment from the neck to the toesies, and this walk is paramount to doing that. Let's see how he's doing now. Just, I feel light. I'm out. For some reason, I feel lighter on my right side than my left. That was it. Oh, look at you. Touch the ground, dude. Yeah. Okay, how much pain in your back? It was a six a minute ago. Uh, 
stairs around here for. Go and stand up. Hands like this, go back. That was a six also a minute ago. Yeah. I still I still feel it in my right side. Yeah, but is it still six or four or three or was it still six? Uh I'll say around five. You had no pain there, look at the ceiling, no pain there, right? That was a six. Yeah. I gotta fit up. Uh, how much? About a three. This is a lot. Huh? Oh yeah. Uh, feeling better. How much? I'll say about three. So? That's good. And you were a six, I think, a minute ago. Stand up. How's that six? Say a four. A little different, huh? A little different. Okay. Now, the really good one is the weights. This is the best part, guys. You won't believe this. He's going to be stronger. Put him out in front of you. Oh, yeah. How much stronger are you? And that was a, a 10 on the left a minute ago. a 10 on, the, on my left. And it was sure. an 8 on the right. What is right. it now? I'm going to say around, say a 4. Yeah, and look at his face. He's not struggling. Go and put him down. Okay, let's turn this way. And let's put it out. You couldn't even lift these out. Watch this, guys. Right there. Yeah, but I mean, what's the pain now? I'm, uh, on my left. Left. That's at least a 6. Got you on the right? On my right, it's at least a 4. Okay, he couldn't even lift it this high before, guys. Don't put it down. Definitely improvement. Yeah. You can also hold shit already. Yeah. You, I you, and your strength it. is back again. Right. Say goodbye, Jorge. Say all right. Well, since everything, the adjustment, and everything, uh, my uh, anxiety is down. Interesting. My anxiety is down, and uh, I can lift. Your arms, how do your arms feel? You came in for your arms. My arms feel, my arms feel way better. You know what I love about his this comment right here? I'm sorry to interrupt, but you didn't even lead with the thing you came in with. You came in saying that your arms hurt, blah, 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 blah. And you, yeah. you, your first thing out of your mouth is my anxiety is down. Anxiety. That is how powerful chiropractic can be, guys. Yeah. Is that he is stoked about his anxiety, not even about his arms. That's the first mm -hmm. thing out of his mouth. So I love that. Go ahead. I feel more, I feel more relaxed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not stressing out. Or yesterday you said you were 10% better, I think. Yeah. What do you think you are today? I think today I'm like at least 80. 80? I think. Wow. I feel 80. Yesterday he said 10 and I was, we were having kind of words back and forth and I go, I think you're better than you are. He goes, I think I'm 10. And he goes, I don't even know what you mean by 10. Remember all those conversations? Yeah. We were but kind of, it was kind of a contentious kind of conversation a little yeah. bit because he couldn't quite grasp what I was asking. And today he's like, Frickin' 80! And so we have having the most trouble with him sitting, like to sit on the couch because he's a lazy slob. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we're gonna try to change that. And he sits really funny in the car. He sits like this. He's like low rider like this. <laughs> and as his wife said, he goes, <laughs> he says that uh, his back hurts so bad he couldn't sit up before. And she used to say, sit up, sit up, sit up. He goes, I'm not gonna sit up because my back hurts. Right. And so uh, we're having some problems with muscle memory. We're having some problems with, um, again, bad habits. And that's, again, where we're supposed to be right now. Show me how you used to sleep. Oh, I love sleeping with my. Like this. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I like sleeping on the side. Yeah. With my arms. Like that, like yeah. That. I like to sleep with my arms off the bed. <laughs> I love how you know. I have one off the bed, one over here. I love how he describes it. The reason I love how he describes it is because he's so animated. You know he does all that stuff. I do. Yeah. And so, uh, how did you change your sleep last night? Uh, last night I just slept. Just slept on my back like a, only like a vampire straight. Yeah. My arms down. Yeah. And how hard was that to do? At first, I was like, oh, I want to sleep how I always sleep, but then I was like, no, I got to try it. And, man, I woke up feeling real good. Okay, and then tell us the one thing you said you tried to roll on your side, what happened? And as soon as I tried to roll on my right side of my arm, I love this. my arm just started getting numb. And I was like, nah. <laughs> so I went back, I went back straight. and So I call this a home run moment, guys. He mm -hmm. actually light went on this head of his, mm -hmm. and he goes, it hurt. I shouldn't do it. <laughs> tell us what you noticed last night. He didn't snore as much as he used to, and he did not twitch. And what kind of twitching did he do before? It's that kind of twitching when your body wants you to wake up. Gotcha. And so, and you used to do what for him when he was twitching? Like try to cover him because I thought he was cold. He was cold, cold exactly. Cold. And nothing seemed to help. He never stopped, right? Yeah. And then the snoring, how bad was he snoring before? Oh, he was like to the point where he would like... <laughs> my kids would hear him. He was like really? loud, loud and loud. I don't night, hear nothing. I laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Last night he did snore a little bit, but he it wasn't as loud and it wasn't like gotcha. I 
I let you slip. That, I knew that he was asleep because he was. He was out. Out, yeah. Yeah, and so uh, on a percentage scale, how much better do you think his snoring was? I mean, I'm kind of curious. Um, 60, 50, like 80, 60, 60 yes. percent better. Yeah. So I don't, I don't feel really much pain on my right. Remember, it was a four on the last video, guys. Mm -hmm. What's this one? And then uh, my my left. I'm gonna say my left right now is still like a around a four. Maybe. Not a four. It was a six yesterday. Do the uh, strength test. <laughs> Look at him. <Yeah. laughs> That's yeah. bad, right? That's nice, right? I got him up now. Gotcha. And this was a 10 on the first day. What is yeah. it now? Uh, I'm going to say around maybe a 6. Gotcha. Go ahead and put it down. Okay, now sideways again. Sideways. That's the truth. Yeah. Let's see this one. Oh, that's it. Good. But look at it. He can go all the way up, guys. Yeah. How much pain on the left? Six. Six also? Say six. Go ahead and put it down. Okay, so uh, go ahead and turn the camera. So again, it's not again about just pain, guys. It's about giving him his body back, and you can see his strength came back. He has, mm -hmm. He's strong again. On a scale of what, 10, how bad is this? 10. 10, gotcha. And so this muscle that I'm pushing out right now is the one I try to get everybody to relax. And when I let go, I want you to tell me what you feel. Okay. <sighs> How do you feel? I feel good. Feels I feel good, like, right? I feel like I lift up. You feel like you lift up and you feel relaxed, right? Yeah. So this is the feeling you're trying to chase when you're doing A-pens. Okay, this is a little different than we've done. You'd, all you can do is just sit here and just let your head tilt to the right here. God, his neck is a little thick. Okay, like this. Let me come back a little bit. He's not easy to adjust. There's a connection here. Drop. Okay, this left side has been his issue. So I'm hoping that this goes nice and smooth, but this is already setting up way easier than the right side did. Now drop your head down. Good. Good. Actually, it wasn't too bad. So we just adjusted in the chair, and I kind of want to see what happens here. So uh, any change right here? The left hand. It was a four minute ago or something, I think. Feels lighter. Feels lighter? Feels like a different the weight. Good. Now go up. That was a six a minute ago. What is that now on the yeah. left? I said three. Three? At least. Good. Uh, when I was right there at the store and everybody started walking around me, next to me, I just, my body just, I just tensed up and I started sweating and, and I was like, what the hell? I like, I want to just get away from everybody. And I just walked away and then just set myself yeah. again. And Have you ever and had that happen before? And I never had that yeah. before. I could be around people. And so what I told him is I think what's happening is that because, and this is an un, not a natural thing, it doesn't usually happen, but he has been so muted by life, this is my take on it, that uh, now that he is more, he has more sensation, mm -hmm. and now that he can hear more, and now he can see more, and everything's more vibrant, he was overwhelmed by the amount of attention he had in that room. Yeah. That's my take on it. And so tell us about when you said you listened to loud music yesterday. Oh yeah, even when I was in there with the loud music, even that was like, bothering me i'm like what the hell why is it so loud in here and normally i like to hear loud music exactly in my house i like to so i find it very interesting now the cool thing about this is that he was able to adjust for it and he, he was able to undo the tension walk away from it so the stuff that we teach him was executed and he was able to reap the rewards from changing his position favorite yeah, place in the house my favorite how couch. much do you love this couch i love it i like, use like next to your wife it's almost like yeah so yesterday when i went we got home after I get done everything. I was like, I'm gonna get on my couch. And I try to sit the way we sit. And it was so uncomfortable. And I tried many, like all my, try to lay on it. You have a lot everything. of positions you love on yeah, the couch. Yeah, on right? the couch. And, and I was like, nah, I can't. I actually sat on my chair, on a wooden chair. Not watching TV in bed. Yeah, usually when I go to bed, um, I'll turn on the TV and watch TV until I fall asleep. I don't even know what time I fall asleep. And then yesterday I just went to bed, just laid down on my back, hands down, and I just wanted to go to sleep, and I just and I knocked out. Woke yeah. up today good. Oh yeah, and, and then the other thing, I love them hot showers after work. I love them hot showers, like burning hot water. It makes me relax, but and then yesterday I said, you know what, I'm gonna try a cold shower. And that cold shower woke me up, got out the shower like feeling good. Feeling better in a hot shower, yeah. actually. I told him to do a cold shower because I said mm -hmm. that ice is your friend, and he started his his brain started going into mm -hmm. hyperdrive, and he goes, "Cold." It was awesome. It was awesome. 
and dice is awesome too. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought that all this would, would help me so this many much. this much exactly because my problems with my arm and my arm's good now <laughs> but now I'm like everything else is okay everything else is starting to you know feel better like I didn't I don't know but yeah yeah good. big change yeah big change man good big change big go sit down please he is a sweater though man He likes this stuff now. I think he likes almost everything I do now. <laughs> he was so scared at the beginning of the week, and now he's like, just do whatever, Doc. Feels good. He has a neck that is really hard to adjust, actually. Okay. Good. Yeah, he has, he's really, really strong guy. His neck is so thick through here. And um, he could just do a tiny bit of, tiny bit of tension and it stops me from adjusting it. Let me have this hand. Excellent. Uh, that was the best one. Uh, <laughs> Tell him how much you love that left side adjustment. It feels good. Yeah, I actually side. love it. Yeah, now he loves it already. Before I was afraid that my neck might snap off, my head might snap off. Yeah, that was my yeah, big fear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now he goes, that left side felt good. It felt good. It even felt good when you had your shoulders right here. Even that felt Let's good. Take it back, right?